after weeks of near daily use, it's finally time for our Apple Pencil 2 review. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. An Apple Pencil update was rumored for a long while. The vastly popular initial model had some glaring flaws that even its biggest champions had yearned for. And as Apple took the stage at its fall iPad event, the crowd oohed and odd at the newly introduced model that vastly changed the design of the Pencil. Apple did an amazing job rectifying a lot of the biggest issues with the original Pencil, but there are still a litany of issues plaguing Apple's Bluetooth stylus. In the box, you're going to find the new Apple Pencil, and that's it. There's a few kind of getting started guides and paperwork, but really, you're just getting the Pencil. If you didn't know already, there are compatibility issues to be aware of. The new Apple Pencil only works on the latest iPad Pros and the original Apple Pencil will not work on the new iPad Pros, mainly due to how they charge and pair. Snapping into place on the long side of the iPad, the Apple Pencil pairs similarly to AirPods. A little card appears on the screen asking if you want to pair or connect the Apple Pencil, then gives you a little welcome guide letting you know how to use the Pencil and some of the new features such as the double tapping on the side to change tools. Not only does it pair to the iPad this way, it also charges inductively through that side. This is one of the most prominent changes and has really changed how we use Apple Pencil because now it seems to be always available and always charged. If we compare it to the original Apple Pencil, there were quite a few issues that really irked a lot of people. For starters, this little cap. This thing not only could easily be lost since it had to be removed every time you actually wanted to charge your Apple Pencil, ours even got chewed up by the dog. So a lot of people were running around with their Apple Pencils with no cap on the end. Below that cap was that lightning connector that you used to plug into the lightning port of your iPad. It looked ridiculous and was so easy to break. We so seldom did this, oftentimes whenever we needed the Apple Pencil, it was actually already dead, meaning we had to plug it in and charge it every time we wanted to use it. It's also a little difficult to discern on video, but the original Pencil also had a glossy exterior. It was prone to scratches and overall does not nearly look as good as the matte finish on the updated Apple Pencil. It's also a tad bit shorter. The new model ditches that cap on the end, meaning that charging port, charging connector is done with. And there's also a beveled side on the new pencil, making it a little bit easier to hold in your hand, a little more comfortable, and kind of helps reduce the amount of rolling around on the table. If you want, when you get it from Apple, you can even get your name or a word engraved there at the top near the Apple Pencil logo. Between both, the Apple Pencil 2 feels like a more solid and premium product compared to the original. Apple's always known for a lot of their little touches, so it was nice to see that the Apple Pencil actually works in either orientation when charging on your iPad. We like the new double tap functionality that works out of the box in Apple's own Notes app and developers can implement it in theirs, but it still feels a little bit limited. Why can't we triple tap to maybe undo or slide your finger up and down to increase or decrease the diameter of your writing instrument? These gestures seem like a great idea, and it's unfortunate that Apple limited to only swapping between two tools with that double tap. For everything Apple got right, there are still big issues with the Apple Pencil too. For instance, this end of the pencil, which is a little hard to see on camera, is actually a different kind of plastic, and it discolors very easily. We threw it in our jeans once, and it turned blue. It's likely going to discolor more over time. Apple also opted not to include any replacement tips in the box like they did with the original. We can partially see why as a lot of people didn't know they were in there so they may have just tossed them out to begin with, but we still would have preferred Apple include them instead of making us buy them separately because these tips will still break just as easily, especially considering the pencil still rolls around. Unless you are very careful in your placement, it'll still easily roll off your desk. This desk is flat and yet the pencil still rolls unless you put it right on that beveled edge. Apple markets the Apple Pencil largely as a tool for creating. Beautiful pieces of artwork are shown plastered on billboards and within Apple stores as created with iPad and Apple Pencil. Thing is, I'm not an artist and I'm lucky if I can make a stick figure look passable. That doesn't mean I don't use Apple Pencil though. The inverse is actually quite true and I found a cacophony of use cases for the Apple Pencil now. Having it ever ready affixed to the side of the iPad makes it effortless to grab, tap the screen and start taking a note whether in the middle of an interview, taking notes while evaluating a product for review, or throwing together a grocery list. Because of the new pencil, we've used it more than ever. Personally, my favorite use case for the Apple Pencil is editing photos. That small and exact tip makes it an ideal instrument for working in Lightroom, Affinity Photo, or Pixelmator. 
Working with a new pencil has made a big difference to my workflow. I never have to worry about charging it so it's always ready to go. This made it all the more convenient and increased its value. Seeing as it has a bit of a price jump, it really needed to prove its worth to warrant its purchase and not make me return it. One thing I did notice though is I dropped the new pencil more than I ever dropped the original. Those magnets that keep it in place so handily also give us the inflated perception that it's going to stay there. I can't count the number of times that I picked up my iPad, walked around, and the pencil just fell off, got knocked off easily. And considering the increased likelihood of those drops, it makes me even more frustrated that there's no replacement tips in the box. Apple Pencil 2 is a unique accessory. It's quite expensive, is limited to the newest iPad, and can easily break off the tip. Yet, we've come to rely on it for so many tasks, it would really be hard to give up. It won't be for everyone, but anyone who was interested or used it in the past will benefit from the laundry list of enhancement Apple has made in version 2. If you want to grab the Apple Pencil for your new iPad Pro, you can find the best prices at the links below in the description. And what do you think of the new Apple Pencil? What is your favorite app to use with it? Be sure to sound off in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.